What is up, you guys? I'm Charmix today. I'm gonna be reacting to SML movie Heartbroken by Super Luigi Logan. Now, I'm not really sure what to expect, but the thumbnail makes it look as if Cody and Ken break up because Ken goes and finds a doll or something. That's what it looks like from the thumbnail. But anyway, with that being said, the original link's in the description. Make sure you guys go subscribe to Super Luigi Logan. Without any further ado, let's begin. Yeah, I can't wait to see Ken. Ken, I'm home. Yeah, Ken, I was thinking about you all day. That's why I bought you this red rose, because it reminds me of your prolapsed butthole. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I did not see that coming. What a joke. What a joke. Oh, Ken, you would never do anything to hurt me. All right, let me curl up next to you. Ken, who is this? Are you cheating uh -oh. on me? Answer me! Is this what you're into now? Are you into girls? Who I can? Was I not enough for you? Oh my god, Ken, who is this? And don't say it's your sister, because I know you don't have one. Oh, if it was your sister, it makes things even more awkward, actually. Well, then again, if you're in Alabama, it's practically normal. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Anyway. Okay, fine, kid. If you're gonna cheat on me, we're done! Ew. No, Mom. What's the matter, Cody? I got Ken cheating on me with a woman. Oh, it hurts, doesn't it, Cody? Oh, that's right. Cody's mom was cheated on a bunch of times. Yeah, after I caught your father cheating on me, I was devastated. It gets better after about the fifth time, though, because by that point, you're just numb to it. Mom, I thought Ken loved me. Yeah, I guess it just sucks to suck, Cody. <laughs> well, actually, it doesn't. It's pretty great. <laughs> wow, we're only a minute and 14 seconds in, and we're already full of jokes. I like it. I like it. Suck. I'm going to my friend's house. <laughs> uh, Joseph, I'm bored. Uh, me too, dude. Hey, Junior, are you hungry? Y yeah, I'm hungry. Ooh, ooh, wait just a second. Dude, do you want some cheese balls? Yeah, I want some I think he needs to cut his nails. It's going to be a little bit long. I don't know why I noticed that, but they look a little bit, uh, a little bit too long. Cheese balls? Well, just open it. But why don't you open it? It's already in your hand. No, dude, it's a perfectly normal container. Just open it. Okay, now I'm starting to think something's gonna happen if I open that. Dude, nothing's gonna pop out. It's just cheese balls. Open the container. Okay, now I think something's gonna pop out. Could you just? Dude, that. it's just cheese balls. Just open it. Uh, okay. <laughs> dude, I got you. You thought it was cheese balls, but it was a little joke, dude. It was a joke. You're freaking hilarious. Joseph is gonna be the next top stand-up comedian. <laughs> You thought it was cheese ball. You were really hungry. <laughs> you were itchy, dude. <laughs> but what is that supposed to be, though? Normally, when something jumps out of like those containers or whatever, you know, it's like a snake or something like that, right? What is that? How is that scary? Maybe as a jump scare, it'd be scary, but not if you see what it is. <laughs> cheese balls. <laughs> Uh, hello? <laughs> Ew, Cody, you look so ugly when you cry. Can I come inside, Junior? Yeah, you can come inside my house. Is your butt called house? What? <laughs> yeah, come inside. Oh my goodness. Cody, do you want some cheese balls? Okay. Oh, no, Cody, they're not Junior, I'm hungry and sad. <laughs> <laughs> Used to play that game with Ken's boxers. Well, so what's wrong? Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh man, I'm really liking this episode so far. The jokes, the jokes. There are a lot of good jokes so far. If if we keep it up at this pace of funniness and comedy, my ratings could be quite high. I think. What's wrong, Cody? Why are you crying? Ken cheated on me. He's a dog, dude. With, with, who did he cheat on you with? He cheated on me with a Barbie doll. See, the word doll was in that sentence. Wait, wait, so, so Ken cheated on you with another toy? So weren't they just playing? No, Junior, they were bumping uglies. Oh, okay, well, Cody, maybe Ken's just moving on to a better thing, you know? Like, maybe you should do that. And maybe I should do that. I mean, it's been a while since I went out on a date. 
wait, I think I should get back out into the dating scene. Wait? Yeah, maybe you should try dating a girl, you know, being straight. Oh, ew, Junior, that's so gay. What, no, no, Cody, you're supposed to date girls, that's what you're supposed to do, so why don't you date a girl like Ken's doing? Uh, but, but me and Ken spent years together, I wasted so much money on chocolate syrup. Uh, you know what, dude, this is getting a little too gay, so I'm gonna leave, okay? Uh, okay. Uh, well, well, Cody... Oh, if he thinks that was a little bit, um, you know, he should have been there for the beginning with the, the, the rose joke. <laughs> Come on, how about this? If I can go find you a girl, will you at least go on one date with her, you know, and, and, see, and see if it works out? <sighs> okay, I guess I could try it. Alright, so look, I'm gonna go try to find you a girl, you stay right here, and look, I'm gonna get you a really fine one, okay? Okay. <laughs> Alright, Cody, I found you a girl, but we better hurry, because I got her from the park and her parents don't notice she's missing yet. <laughs> Oh my goodness, <laughs> you kidnapped some little girl. Oh, oh god, Junior, what's wrong with her? There's nothing wrong with her, she's hot! But, but why is her hair all long like that? Because girls have long hair, Cody. But, ew, why? So you can pull it, I don't know, Cody, look, you have to like her because she's a girl, you better start liking girls. So what's your name? Elizabeth. Her name's Elizabeth. Uh, oh, oh god, what a long name. We well, can call her Beth. Ugh, can I just call her Ben? Well, Cody, no, no guy names, you have to learn to like girls. Elizabeth, meet my friend Cody. Uh, this is a weird episode premise so far. Uh, do you think he's cute? No, he's kind of a nerd. Okay, f you too, Ben. Cody, calm down. Look, 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 you, you have to learn to like her. Uh, that escalated fast, didn't it? Watch yourself. I like to eat ants. Ants. Great. Maybe we can go out and eat some ants together sometime. My treat. Maybe we can go to a Mexican restaurant, eat some fire ants. Extra spicy. Okay, look, we got a date going. We're good. Jun Junior, I'm not going to go eat ants. Why not? Because it's gross. I'm not eating ants. She's a girl. You better eat some ants if you want that. I'm not going to go eat ants. <laughs> He won't eat ants, but he will eat a s s. All right, so uh, Elizabeth, will you kiss my friend Cody? No. What if I pay you a dollar? Okay. All right, Cody, I need you to kiss her. Uh, oh, oh God! Uh, kiss her? What, why? Because she's a girl. You need to kiss a girl. You need to kiss her on the mouth. What, on the mouth? What, I can't just start with her hand or something first. No, Cody, you have to have your first kiss with a girl. What, I've already had my first kiss with a girl. What, who? My mom. It was tongue and everything. It was so hot. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, this must be an Alabama. <laughs> okay, wait, I gotta hear what he said again. It was... But I've already had my first kiss with a girl. What, who? My mom. It was tongue and everything. It was so hot. All right, Cody, well, you need to kiss someone that's not... Oh, my goodness. That is disgusting. Not blood-related. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Uh, okay, I guess I'll try it. All right, look, just pretend oh, that she's goodness. your mom. <laughs> What? No, Cody, no, that doesn't count! Oh, I'm sorry, Junior, it's just you were over there and you were looking all, all bangable and I just had to kiss you. No, kiss the girl. Kiss the girl on the mouth. Uh, okay. Kiss her on the nose, but okay. Oh, God, Junior! Oh, it's disgusting! It wasn't so bad, right, oh, Cody? Oh, God, Junior, you gotta brush my teeth. Do you have any mouthwash? Cody, it wasn't that bad. Oh, God, Junior, it was horrible. It's the most disgusting thing I've ever done in my life. So you don't want to keep kissing her? No, no, Junior, I don't want to kiss her anymore. Just just get, get her out of here before I throw up. All right, Elizabeth, you can leave. Wait, where's my dollar? Cody, do you have a dollar? No. I don't have a dollar. Oh, you know what? There's a lesson to be learned here. Get your money up front. Leave. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, see? Yeah, you don't pay hopes. Oh, God, Junior, that was <laughs> disgusting. I can't do this! Yeah, this episode's quite edgy. This episode's quite edgy. I mean, there's a lot of good jokes in it so far, but it's also quite edgy. So far, we're on halfway through. I think I'd rate it, like, close to 8. We're getting close to 8 for an SML. This is really good. Oh, uh, alright, Cody. Uh, well, m maybe the problem is... Maybe the problem is that she was a real girl. Maybe you need a doll. Yeah, okay, maybe. So look, let me go get you a doll, and maybe that'll be better. Uh, alright. Why don't you let Cody pick out the 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 one that he's most att attracted to or whatever? It's like having your friend trying to set you up on a date with someone. They might think someone's beautiful, but you might not, right? You know, everyone's got their own taste or whatever. Does that make sense? Right. All right, Cody, I got you two girls to choose from. Thanks, I hate both of them. Mark, no, come on, Cody, you have to give them a chance. But Junior, they're just, they're just not hunky at all. I mean, where are their muscles? Where are their abs? They have boobs. Ew, what am I even supposed to do with those? 
Sounds like Cody would like more of a weightlifting girlfriend, you know, the ones that are in the gym all day. Punch him? Come on, Cody, look, I'll tell you something about both of them, and then you tell me if you like them. Okay. All right, so this one's name is Kimberly. Hi, Kimberly. And this one's name is Kaylin. Wait, Caitlin? No, Kaylin, no T. Uh, oh, oh God, why? Just spell it normal, it's not cute. I know, I know, Cody, it doesn't make any sense. We, we don't understand. But anyway, she's a freak in the streets. But she's a freak in the sheets. And I'm just a freak. I mean, look at me. I'm a talking toy. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And also, Kimberly's a flight attendant, but she has weekends off and a 401k. Oh, okay. Kaylin doesn't have a job. Oh. Yeah, but she makes money other ways. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. In the streets. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, um, which one do you want? Well, why isn't she wearing shoes? Oh, she's carrying her shoes. But why? She likes to walk barefoot because she's so drunk she can't walk straight in her heels. What? She walks barefoot on the street? Yeah, her feet's all like all black and asphalt and there's really like dirt and stuff. It's cool. Aww. I, no, I think I'll just go with Kimberly. You made a good decision. You dodged a bullet there. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Kayla. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so uh, it looks like you chose Kimberly. Why was the other one even an option, honestly? Okay, great. All right, so this is what you're going to do. You and Kimberly need to go on a date in front of Ken and his new girlfriend and make Ken jealous. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then Ken will want to get back with me because he'll remember how good of a boyfriend I am. I should turn Ken gay again. Come on, Kimberly. Let's go make Ken jealous. <sighs> so, Ken. This is a very weird plot. Also, like... Just thinking of it as, um, I don't know how to explain it. Just thinking of it as Cody would have had to set it up so that Ken was cheating on him, right? At the beginning, you know, what happened with the girl under the sheets. Cody would have had to set that up because they're just dolls, right? So just logically thinking it through doesn't make any sense. Or unless he actually just wants that to happen. That would make sense, right? I don't know. A lot of questions. It's nice of you to come to dinner. I'm glad to see you dressed up. Well, anyway, even though you cheated on me, I thought we could still be friends. So I would like to introduce you to my girl, g girl, girlfriend. That's right. That's right. I'm straight now, too. I like girls. 10 out of 10 acting right now. Oscar worthy, I would even say. That, that's what I like. I, 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 I enjoy that now. And I also, I also like tuna. I love the smell of tuna in the morning. I, I say that all the time. No. I do. This is Kimberly. She's a flight attendant. And earlier today, <laughs> we joined the Mile High Club, didn't we? <laughs> yes, we did. We do butt stuff. This is a very funny and weird episode. I think I'm gonna give it a 7.2 out of 10 so far. I'd like to know more about the girl that you decided was better than me and decided to leave a five-year relationship for. <clears throat> anyway, uh, please, uh, what does your girlfriend do for a living? I mean, what does your girlfriend do for a living? Not, uh, not, not salty at all. <laughs> oh, she must be a mime, because she doesn't talk. Well, that's okay, Ken. I hope you brought your appetite. I ordered your favorite food. Waiter! <sighs> bon appetit. -y. Now, waiter, I'd like you to explain what you just brought. Fifteen hot dogs. Fifteen hot dogs. <laughs> Fifteen raw wieners. Now you like wieners, don't you, Ken? <laughs> you can't have changed that much. You remember this, Ken? Remember a wiener right in your face? Well, I know you love it. Now, Ken, I just have a question for your new girl. <laughs> so messed up. It was funny. It was very funny. What a weird date, though. How many of you go on a first date and start throwing wieners around? <laughs> Girlfriend. What does that mouth do? Oh, nothing. Well, that's interesting. I'll show you what my mouth do. <laughs> this is ridiculous. That is what my mouth do. <clears throat> I'm probably gonna end up, I don't know, cut out parts of this, because <laughs> it's almost a little bit too suggestive, you know? Waiter. Yes? I think we're ready for dessert. Already? Yes. Alright, what you didn't even eat them, you just spewed mayonnaise all over. Alright, here's your dessert. Mm, looks good. You remember this, Ken? I asked if they had a bigger one, but they didn't. You remember when we used to share these? I would take one end and you'd take the other end, like in Lady and the Tramp? Okay, that's just too much. I beg you, Charm X, please skip this. You guys wanna see a magic trick? <laughs> Hold on. Ken loves that magic trick. He's seen it about a thousand times. <laughs> Well, this dinner has been fascinating, but me and Kimberly really- Fascinating, that's one way to put it. <laughs> More like really awkward and odd. We should be going. I have to take her home so I can kick her boobs around. I'm sure you understand. Come on, Kimberly. We have a flight to catch.
<laughs> I don't think it worked. Ken's face didn't change all night. He doesn't care about me. I'm so heartbroken. I mean, his face doesn't change because he's a doll, but whatever. Do you think maybe it's because... That's what I was thinking. It wasn't gay enough. Oh, no, it, it was really gay. <laughs> What am I gonna do now, Junior? Well, I mean, look, why don't you just keep dating Kimberly? I don't like Kimberly. I'm gonna be alone forever. Problem solved. Uh, <coughs> Cody, look who's here. Uh, Ken? Yeah, and look at the award he brought you. World's greatest boyfriend? Oh my god, Ken. But, but wait, this doesn't make sense. What's going on? Well, uh... For someone as smart as Cody, he's awfully dumb in this episode. <laughs> uh, Ken said that today was just a big prank. Uh, he wanted to make you think he likes girls, so you'd prove how much you love him. Oh my god, really? Ken, you prank me so good? Uh, who wants cheese balls? <laughs> oh my god, Ken, I love you so <laughs> much. W wait, but what about his girlfriend? Uh, he threw her away like she was trash. Oh, good! <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, but, but wait, who, who put him and her in my bed this morning? La 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 la. Why don't you look at me anymore? I cook, I clean. Oh, okay. Okay, that explains a lot. Because I was thinking, you know, I said earlier on that it didn't really make any sense because Cody would have had to have done that. But no, it turns out the mother did that. That explains a lot, actually. I mean, I do everything around here and you just sit around with your shirt off. Uh. I don't know. No, Ken. <laughs> I thought I lost you forever. Okay, Ken. Let's make a promise that we'll never like girls ever again. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. I think it's a really funny episode. The jokes. The jokes were really funny. Really funny. A little bit edgy. Uh, also, the whole plus of this episode is also a little bit weird. But um, nonetheless, it was quite funny and I enjoyed it. I think I'd rate it. I don't know. We're getting close to like an 8, maybe even higher than 8, like an 8-1 maybe. Like it's, it's really funny. Definitely the first joke, the first joke out of this whole episode I think was actually the funniest because it was just so unexpected. Like it, it came in like, you know, full force, just came in with the, that was, with the comedy and that was really funny. But yeah, so I think I'd rate it like an 8-1 out of 10. I really like this episode a lot. I hope you guys did as well. And uh, yeah, if you guys like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you do, and subscribe to the family. Also, make sure you guys go subscribe to Super Luigi Logan. Links in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Boop.